Hello, YouTubers. This is the Nubifier. Happy birthday. As part of the regular schedule, we received a letter from the chairman. Chris's message was broken down into six sections, a welcome, birthday wishes, looking forward, the roadmap, Squadron 42, and the community. This sort of video works better as an audiobook, so please sit back and relax. Let me summarize the seven pages of this letter in four minutes. Chris began by highlighting the 300 million milestone and record funding in 2020, record player traffic, and record new player traffic. He spoke about the challenging nature of 2020 since March and was disappointed that he couldn't host us in the usual fitting celebration at Los Angeles. He said he was very proud of his team and how well they transitioned to working from home with minimal disruption, allowing work to continue, and his thoughts went out to those who were less fortunate. Chris said that the past eight years blew by and he knows that the journey has not been short, but highlighted the ambitious achievement of daring to dream. He compared their milestone to President Kennedy's infamous and audacious speech when he threw the United States into the race for the moon 58 years ago. To capture the theme of Kennedy's speech, we choose to build Star Citizen not because it's easy, but because it's hard. He reflected that the challenge has been even more daunting than he could have imagined. He said that he was most proud of his global community that surrounds the project, all eagerly tracking the development. He highlighted 64-bit precision, millimetric surface detail, macro-galactic scale, procedural planetary tooling, physics gridding, item porting, space and atmospheric flight, the actor rig, OCS, player DNA, FOIP, and other specialized features that are embedded into the game. He commented on five studios with 640 staff built from zero, creating a game like no other with fidelity and features never seen in a single title. He mentioned iCache, which will open up the true potential of the universe through true persistence. Physical inventory and resource management are going to become more important as we travel further and further from safety. Planning missions with consequence will be more meaningful and he hopes that they can have iCache live by Q2 2021. Server meshing is dependent on iCache and it will allow many servers to locally hold the same data across the world. They've been working for years to implement this core function that is needed to realize our seamless universe. Meshing will allow the 50 player cap to expand to thousands concurrently, and as needed, the system will add more resources to handle that extra demand. Quantum is next on the list and was detailed last year by Tony Z, which is how the universe will come to life with cause and effect for prices and missions based on our actions. He said that these three systems are being developed, but then fell short of speculating on when we might see them. He did say after they're working, the development floodgates will open and shift towards expanding the systems and mechanics. He gave a rundown of the new features that came out with 3.11 and spoke about all the planned game loops that more seasoned players are very aware of. He said he was happy with Fleet Week and would like to do similar events like that in the future. The roadmap update was explained and its new format will highlight what each team is working on. He said that maintaining such a detailed public status is in itself a full-time job as many of the 58 unique sprints would need to be updated manually. Maintaining an up-to-date record of what the team of 500 people are doing presents a unique challenge, which is why it's taking the time and he's hoping to have that working by the end of the year. Briefing Room is the new quarterly show dedicated to Squadron 42 and it released today. Please stay tuned for a breakdown of that. And it was said to be quite like what Jared's doing with his sprint reports, but larger and more detailed. He said once again that he will sacrifice time to release a finished game. The team is working hard to develop a truly one-of-a-kind experience that'll push the bar beyond anything seen before. He said that they've missed deadlines in the past and they've used that information to better predict the future timelines. He said that the only timeline he could say for sure was that it would be done when it was done, but that the roadmap in the briefing room series would hopefully provide the transparency that we expect. Chris spoke in greater detail about the backers, players, Evil Cotty, content creators and fans, saying that we would not be here if it weren't for the community. Each three months gets us closer to the implementation of iCache and other core systems, which will push Star Citizen to be a game without equal. And I will end by quoting his closing remarks. I thank each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart for all that you've done and all that you continue to do. Happy Star Citizen Day to us all, Chris. And that's it. Happy birthday, citizens. It's been one hell of a ride. I appreciate all of you who watch and engage in the comments. Please stay tuned for more. Fly safe and I'll see you in the verse.